Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks since I've posted a video and I kind of wanted to talk about why is that and what I've been up to. So first off, I wanted to start 2024 with a fresh slate and really start taking things seriously with everything that I have invested time in. That being YouTube and my business that I started up end of last year, as well as trying to figure out other ways I can make income until I find something more sustainable. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. All right, so first thing is how am I taking YouTube more seriously? So if you guys haven't noticed, I have kind of changed the format or the layout of how I'm doing my videos now. I never really had a YouTube studio per se or a proper place to film. I always was filming in <laughs> odd places like my living room, my kitchen, things like that. And it was a pain to always carry like lighting around and all the gear with me to set it up and stage it right just so that we could make sure that we had high quality content. So what did we do to fix that problem? We decided to try and make my office a little bit more functional, well, multifunctional in a way that it serves multiple purposes. So we totally rearranged my office. This was not my idea originally. It was something that hubby tried to convince me and I was totally against it because I am somebody that can kind of be set in their ways. I had a layout that I already like found on Pinterest and it was something that I thought was going to look great and I just needed to get it into a state where it's clean and it looks great all the time and which was really hard to do because I needed space to kind of do some DIY things for my small business and I needed a place to like work on YouTube stuff and plan for my videos and things like that and it was not really functioning. I first had to start off the new year with really just decluttering and cleaning up my office because I can be a bit of a hoarder. My office space was just really a mess. So I really cleared everything out and tried to find a home for everything. And hubby ended up doing this 3D layout for me because he knows that I'm a visual person. And since I was so apprehensive about changing the layout of my office, he decided to try and win me over by providing me with some visuals to really help me see what this new layout could do for me. So I looked at this layout and I was still apprehensive about like if this was going to work or not. We ended up giving it a shot and rearranging my furniture so that I have a proper space to still work on my computer, but I had a nicer background to film my YouTube videos and my lighting and camera gear can like stay in one place and not have to move. So hence I have better lighting now and I have a more nicer background, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking the background more. I think that it's doing a lot better for my videos. So kudos to my hubby for helping me out with that. Um, I am loving my office way more and I am totally spending way more time in my office than I had ever spent last year. And I have like a dedicated space to do my DIY projects and put some of my gear and supplies for my small business so that has a separate space too that doesn't get into the way of me filming so this kind of part is like my youtube studio and another section of my room is more of like my small business stuff i've also been working on my small business i had a really slow start last year it was something that I had been dragging my feet about because I was just feeling really overwhelmed with everything that pertained to a small business. And I was just getting really bogged down with the little details and things that I need to do, like getting a business license and filling out an LLC and things like that. I 
had never done these things before and I just didn't know where to begin. I started Googling and, and all that stuff. And I finally like sat down and did the research and figured it all out. With my small business, this was something that I pondered on for a bit and I decided to go ahead and start a mobile laundry service business in the area. So this was something that I wasn't sure if I wanted to get going because I thought maybe the market might be oversaturated and things like that. And I wanted to make it as an extra or additional income for hubby and I. We already had a car that we bought. I would say it's like my Dave Ramsey car that I bought really inexpensive. It's not pretty, but it does the job and I was able to pay for it all cash. We got this at the beginning of 2023 and it ended up being a great buy because it was something that ended up being able to serve the business. So that worked out well with the car. And in terms of everything else, it was a little bit of a challenge such as marketing. It's not something that I specialize in. I had to really start to understand SEO and how to get my business to show up higher on Google. I also had to figure out how to get customers and it was such a challenge to really put myself out there and talk about my business and cold calling and going out and introducing myself to other people and potential clients. It was something that I'm definitely not used to, not comfortable with. I really identify as an introvert. So this was a big challenge for me. And 2024 was trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and really to try and do these things that I was fearful of because it was just really hurting me not putting myself out there and trying to make the best of my situation and by not doing this I'm holding myself back from the full potential of what this business could be so yeah putting myself out there in 2024 and I think that my efforts paid off because I slowly started to get more inquiries with my business I got an additional customer and then I got another customer so all this was really working out great for me and I was seeing like the fruits of my labor pay off the other thing that kind of happened in the end of January was I had another friend that reached out and asked me for some help being a virtual assistant so it was just really like one or two assignments that they needed me to work on and I was like, sure, I could definitely use the cash and I'm happy to help where I can. So I went ahead and did these two assignments, told them my rate, and it was like a quick turnaround for me in a week or so. So I was able to get those two assignments done fairly quickly and they paid me instantly once the assignment was done. So that was really great and that was some nice additional income for us. The last one would be Hi guys, just kidding. I forgot about one more gig that I secured through Instagram. I saw a business post about them needing some extra help for their springtime festivals, so I ended up reaching out to them in their DMs, and luckily they responded and told me that the gig was mine. So that's going to be some extra cash that would come in handy for the springtime months for us. The last one would be video editing. I had no intention of trying to do video editing for others. It wasn't something that I had seriously considered, but the opportunity came around when I noticed somebody in my neighborhood Facebook group post about whether there was any YouTubers or anybody that knew how to video edit. And I was hesitant to reach out just because I don't find myself to be a strong editor and my husband has always been doing most of the video editing and I've only been a novice video editor as of now but I knew that this was an opportunity to make some additional money so I decided to shoot my shot and go ahead and DM this person and say hey I have a YouTube channel that I'm not comfortable disclosing yet but I can show you some sample work if you're interested. And we pretty much went from there. My neighbor ended up asking for the sample work. They viewed it. 
They ended up really liking it. There was other people that reached out to them expressing interest in the opportunity as well. And I was really surprised that they ended up choosing me to be the video editor. I was also very transparent and honest. I had no experience video editing for other people before and I told them that they would be my first client. I at least had been on this YouTube space for three years now and I had some work to show for it. So that transparency I think worked in my favor and just seeing the work that I've done already, they were pretty impressed and they wanted to give me a shot. So we decided to just start talking and having that conversation and I had to quickly figure out rates. I had no idea what rates to charge. I was trying to watch YouTube videos and read up on rates that people ended up charging for video editing and I ended up agreeing to do video editing for $40 an hour and they agreed to that rate so I was pretty happy with that. I also agreed to do a trial video which was helping them film an intro and I ended up doing that at a flat fee just to kind of show them my potential and they didn't even really want to wait to see that final product. They agreed to the flat fee for the intro project as well as the $40 an hour rate for video editing for all videos in the future. So all this was really exciting news. And by the way, guys, this like all happened within like two weeks mostly. And two weeks, I mean like new customers for the business, getting the virtual assistant work as well as getting this video editing opportunity and it was a whirlwind for me and my husband because I was just like oh my gosh all these opportunities came and I thought that 2024 was going to be just as bleak and depressing as 2023 for us because the beginning of January was not showing any signs of change or being different from what 2023 was like for us. We weren't feeling lucky. We weren't feeling like we were getting any additional gigs or income coming in. And I just was kind of starting to lose hope. And all of a sudden, it just kind of all came at once, these opportunities. I am just so blessed and grateful for it. And that's all I have for this video. And if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you guys are already subscribed to the channel. If you're not, make sure that you are and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for future videos. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.